Well, we have another game uh, for Saturday in Conference USA. Fascinating battle here as Western Kentucky is playing at mm -hmm. Marshall. And a log jam for first place with Western Kentucky, La Tech, and UAB all tied up there. Then you got this Marshall team that's only 8 and 16 overall. However, they're playing very well, winning four of five games. Western Kentucky, 16 and 7, straight up 10 and 6 against the spread. They got a winning road record for Coach Ray Harper, 11 and 2 the last 13 games. So, Jeff, it's a pretty good Western Kentucky team, both straight up and against the number. Yeah, except they got blindsided by Rice on Saturday, 72 to 68, and, and obviously they came out flat and they, they were overlooking Rice, but uh, that, that might be uh, a reason to take them in this game because they're not going to overlook uh, another team like that. So they're West Kentucky, 16 and 7, 10 and 9 against the spread, 3 4 against the spread on the road. Uh, they were rolling along, winning 11 of 12 before that loss to Rice uh, as a 12 and a half point favorite. Uh, the Owls shot the lights out, nearly 60% from the floor. Uh, while well, the Hilltoppers shot away 41.8%. Clearly, uh, it's one of those games where they weren't prepared and came out with little, very little energy, uh, and their defense was uncharacteristically bad. Uh, usually, uh, West Kentucky allows only 41.4% from the floor. Uh, Marshall uh, lost the first beating 81-62 on January 4th. 8-16 and 16 straight up, 11-10 against the spread. But um, as you said, they, they've, at, at one point, they lost 15 games in a row to Division I teams, and now they've won... Uh, four of the last five, including a big win against UTEP. Uh, new coach uh, Dan D'Antoni probably has a big job here rebuilding his program, but right now it looks a lot better than it did a few weeks ago. So I think, w but uh, with Western Kentucky uh, learning a lesson last week, I I'm going to go with uh, the Hilltoppers to, to cover the number here because uh, they should, they're the better team, and even though they're on the road, they should get this win in coverage out. Yeah, they did get blindsided in that game, 12-and-a-half point home favorite, and they were down 43-26 at the half to Rice. That was only the third home loss for the season for Western Kentucky. Now, this Marshall team has won four of the last five games. They were a dog, four-point dog at Southern Miss, won the game 69-64. to They beat North Texas 80-73. to And then Saturday, uh, that was the Saturday game, they were two-and-a-half point favorite, shot over 47% as a team, and they trailed at the half, so they had a nice second-half comeback. Six players had double figures in that game, so they're distributing the ball very well. And 6'9 center J.P. Gamboli had 12 rebounds. He's only averaging about four rebounds for the game. This is a team that is really getting better as the season has gone along. One thing, Marshall is 13-39-2 against the spread after a victory. But, uh, Zach, this team is playing a pretty good basketball right now. Yeah, you know what? That's one of the few teams I haven't been able to watch this year. Marshall, I've seen Western Kentucky a few times. Um, but I'll reserve comment on our spread on this. All I can say is this year, I think Conference USA is one of those uh, divisions or conferences where odds makers are going to throw that number at you and try to bait you. Um, this is one of those conferences. It's not, it's not a small tier conference like the Atlantic Sun or uh, the Southern Conference or anything like that, but it's not an upper echelon line conference like one of the power conferences either. So some people try to yeah, get involved with it a little too much. I know they've got some games on CBS Sports here and there, but they're really not televised, so it's hard to, to get a good gauge on them. I know Western Kentucky was on TV against Louisville and uh, I think Old Dominion a few weeks ago. But uh, you've got every what I've seen in trends on these uh, teams on the upper echelon of this conference, Western Kentucky, UTEP, Old Dominion. Um, there's another name I'm forgetting, but uh, Louisiana Tech. They are always nine and a half, ten and a half, eleven and a half, twelve and a half point favorites. And more times than not, I think there's probably been more up, outright upsets with those spreads. So um, I would stay away from this. Obviously, uh, Marshall is uh, not a very good team this year, but somehow, like uh, Jeff said, some of these teams like Rice and on the bottom tier, even Charlotte, have been able to cover uh, in this conference or went outright. So I would stay away from it. I think there's better value than the, the, the dig on the Conference USA. Uh, on my side of things, but I haven't seen Marshall enough this year. All right, these teams did meet on January the 4th. Western Kentucky was 11.5 point home favorite. Won the game easily, 81 to 62. Game went over the total of 141. Western Kentucky shot 47% from the field, hit nine three-pointers. But this Marshall team has been playing much better since then. In fact, they're 29th in the nation in rebounds. Western Kentucky won the rebounding battle in that first meeting, 45 to 35, but boy, on their home court and playing so much better, I'm going to take a lean toward Marshall in this one, being at home. And I wonder about that West Kentucky defensive lapse from Saturday, if that carries over. All right, guys, uh, here's uh, some of the things we have uh, going on for the weekend. Uh, Jeff, you're on a terrific run here, 8-2 and two 
in the NBA, 13 and 6 in all of hoops. Plus, you had that big blockbuster, that rare high roller blockbuster last Saturday. Yeah. Yeah, my three top players on Saturday all won the blockbuster with Oklahoma over TCU, plus they had Texas A&M and UC Davis. I came back Sunday with the big two in Ordea and College basketball, including that 20-star win with Oregon State plus uh, UMass. And this week uh, I have another blockbuster on Saturday. It's usually $99 online. This week it's only, it's only going to be $49. Also, if you call LVSS at 1-866-575-8916, I'll give you a full week of college and MBA. It's just $5, dollars one 866 Five seven five eight nine one six. Or just go to jimfice.com, get a blockbuster, a ninety-nine dollar value, but you get it for only forty-nine dollars. All right, and Zach, I've seen you rank number oh, one. My best bet's Arizona. Oh, Arizona. <laughs> I always forget that. I forgot that too. Marshall, I'll go with a, a best bet for Saturday. Uh, Zach, uh, I've seen you rank number one in college basketball on several websites as part of a ninety fifty-three and four college basketball run. How can folks get aboard for this week? Yeah, Saturday and Sunday, that's when I release my prime plays in college basketball. I was, that's the bigger schedule. Um, we're starting to see on Sundays a lot of underdogs covering. That's one of the trends I've seen. And Saturdays, it's, it's up in the air. But uh, between both those days, I usually try to give uh, five to eight plays, 90-53-4 um, and four ATS. And I'm looking to uh, pick things up to go into March Madness. We've got about, I can't believe it's five, six weeks away from uh, Selection Sunday, but uh, I'm really going to start focusing on teams that are either trying to improve their seeds or bubble teams that are going to fall out because you're going to you've got uh, a lot of bubble teams out there that really shouldn't be, um, and you also want to pay attention to teams that front loaded their conference play. Um, a lot of teams do that, or they play the easy part of their schedule and then they get uh, into the harder portion um, and they start to lose games and either drop in seedings or drop out completely. And I think a couple teams out there like that, you want to look at Notre Dame. They've had a front-loaded schedule. Um, and there's a, there's a lot of teams out there like that. So that's what I'm going to be focused on. We can find value and um, pick things up going into March. All right, and Jim Feist on a 23-14 and 14 run with all basketball players, plus his games of the year in the NBA, 10-2-1 and one run. That included a blowout game of the year last week with Golden State Warriors, 121 to 96, you can get all of Jim's plays in hockey, pro, and college basketball at jimfeist.com, along with articles, free picks, and videos from the nation's top handicappers. All right, that'll do it for this week's edition of ProLine. We will see you next week with another edition of the College Basketball ProLine. We'll see you then.